What up, Shinobi, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed, where I take Ubisoft stories and wipe my ass with it. Today, we are going to be going over Origin, the 10th game, and after this video, we'll be one game away from being ready for Valhalla. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to bless this video with a like or even better, a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, let's talk about Origin. If you guys have seen my previous video on Syndicate, I talk about how every time Assassin's Creed gives us a new mechanic, it's usually a pretty questionable game. Well, Origin doesn't necessarily fall into that category. They introduced new mechanics, and I wasn't the biggest fan of the combat style at first. But then over time, as your character gradually becomes stronger, the mechanics start to flow more. I'm gonna say it's still a little unrefined, but it's typical for a new Assassin's Creed that introduces new mechanics. But there's definitely a lot of promise in the combat system for sure. And I'm sure Odyssey will do a solid job and it'll be a little bit more fine tuned and the combat will make it even more enjoyable for the player. Based off my experience with the game, with this new combat and singular targeting system, you can't fight larger groups of people like you used to, or at least it's hard unless you have a high level and you've unlocked a lot of the chain attack combos in the abilities chart. There's not a super strong counter button that responds with an automatic attack, but there is a counter that allows you to deflect an incoming attack, opening up a chance to strike. Because of this reason, I did find myself taking the assassin approach where I kill everyone quietly, which is, I guess, the whole point of the game. But sometimes I just miss fighting an entire army at a time, if anyone can relate to that. Other than the combat, I like a lot of the features that were introduced, like the variety of weapons and how you can collect them as dropped loot from enemies. I think that was a really cool idea. The game did give me really big Destiny 2 vibes. I also love how they took Eagle Vision literally in this game. You deadass have an eagle whose vision you use. I thought that part was so clever and I think it was perfectly suitable for this game. I don't know. I thought that was hilarious. Using Senu. However, there is one thing I'm starting not to like about Assassin's Creed games, but I'm sure a lot of people don't mind this. So when I was researching Origin and how long it takes to beat because of my Assassin's Creed challenge, I saw that Origin was one of the longer games. On average, it takes about 19 and a half hours to beat the main story or something along those lines. At first I was like, oh cool, this should be plenty of lengthy story, and don't get me wrong, there is a lot of story, and I was actually a pretty big fan of the storyline, and the ending was pretty dope because you're seeing the birth of the assassins, but I feel like the storyline isn't the reason why the game takes a while to beat. It's the leveling up and the grinding to get to the recommended level to play the main mission is what takes long. I found myself doing a ton of side missions which were completely optional before in order to level up if you even want to stand a chance against enemies of a certain mission. In the other Assassin's Creed, to get around the leveling, you can usually just assassinate them quietly and they die instantly. However, in Origin, if the character is a few levels higher than you, you won't insta-kill them and a lot of times they're able to turn around and just beat your ass. So there's no real way around the grinding part of the game. That's probably my biggest complaint about the game because if you're me and pressed for time, this game isn't easy to just run through. But on the other end, a lot of gamers love leveling up and consistently creating a stronger character and there's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, after my Assassin's Creed challenge is over and I finish Valhalla, Origin will be one of the games I come back to finish all the side quests and finish the abilities chart. That concludes today's video. I'm so excited because all that's left is Odyssey and then we will finally get to play Valhalla. Make sure you guys subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. Peace out.